How has the COVID menace affected this theater community? There's been a huge effect. First of all, um, after the first couple of weeks of the COVID crisis, a lot of plays um, had just started. I went to a play that I saw a friend of mine in the opening weekend, and they only got to play opening weekend. And after that, they had to shut it down. Uh, another production in town that I was going to see, I didn't get to see because of the shutdown, because of all the social distancing that was so necessary for the public's health. When you think of that on a personal level, uh, when I think of that as an actor, I think of all the hard work that goes into these plays, the actors, the directors, the producers, the, the, the theaters themselves promoting the play, and how disappointing that would be because that's when the fun starts, when you get to take what you've been working so hard on, you've, you've birthed it basically, the baby has been birthed, and now you can't show it to the world and that audience that you work so hard for doesn't get to see the fruits of your labor. And that's, that's a really hard thing. And of course it was necessary. No one has complained about this from the actors, the theaters. I haven't heard anybody complaining about it because we all know that COVID is much more serious and the public health is the top concern. But I also know how disappointing that is for audiences, but also for actors, because the amount of work that goes into a theatrical production is just phenomenal. Um, so many times, and one of the plays in town, TNT, was doing something called the Nora Plays. It's the original Doll's House, and then the play that's, that was written just recently, sort of like uh, what happened then, and they're called the Nora Plays, and they were performing those two together, sort of synchronously, um, and a lot of people were really excited about that, and I think they only got one or two weekends uh, in of, the, of, the, of them, and that was it, and they worked on that for at least two months. Let me ask you this, as you know, as lots of businesses have had to close their doors, the theaters have had to do so during this crisis. Will, can the theaters come back from this, from what you know? I hope so. I have, um, I keep in touch, as many of us do, through Facebook. And every time a theater pops up, I've, been, I've donated money uh, to several theaters. Several of the theaters, one of the theaters has already said, okay, this next production that we've got, we're pushing this to 2021. 20, uh, so we know that they're planning to be around. Uh, it's a struggle, though. Uh, it's, it's a big struggle. We have children's theater in town. We've got uh, a lot of other theaters. And so a lot of them really need donations right now to carry them through. Uh, for some of these plays that got cut short, those, those theaters paid royalties for those plays that they're not going to recuperate. They still have to pay their rent. Uh, a theater tradition in many theaters is to leave when the theater has to go dark for whatever reason, they, theaters did this during wars, other uh, national tragedies. When theaters go dark, they leave one light on the stage on. <laughs> that one light, the electric bill shouldn't be too high for that, but they still have to pay rent. They still have to keep the physical theater uh, there, the space. And then there are some people, even though most of the theaters that I work with are volunteer, there are a few people that their full-time job, children's theater, some of the theaters that I work with, there are people that that's their livelihood and they're not getting paid right now, most likely. So it's, it's a tough time. 